Okay, come on, let's take our dogs for a walk, guys. So how have you been? How's your day been? Uh, it's, it's been great. This, yeah. this little bugger is really... Great. I tell you, my dog is the nicest dog ever. You know, he's like so well trained. It's like, look, come, come. Yeah, mine doesn't even poop on a carpet anymore. Yeah. It's Not being distracted nice. at all. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, 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 oh hey, this hey. guy. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a nasty no, dog. Come on, them, come on. Bridge. They're below you. Come on. Get this guy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on, Fred. Run. <laughs> that's <Fred. laughs> Guys, and here we are, Doc M77 and the Zip Crowd crew. We're here with Cabo, Wubi, JL, and Milky Way. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> hey. So, yeah. And I had this unfortunate thing happening to me on the Minecraft uh, server. You know, I finally found a yeah, chicken jockey or a zombie jockey, um, however you want to call it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, it died. <laughs> And it was really lucky that I got one. We looked into the numbers a bit with some crazy tests and gel. Fill us in. What is the actual chance to get one of these guys? Yeah, so uh, if a zombie spawns, there's only a 0.25% chance, roughly, to g uh, for it to become a chicken jockey zombie. So it's really, really low. You need to spawn in uh, yeah, 400 zombies on average to get a single uh, chicken uh, jockey and that um, well obviously means that on uh, average if you just go caving you will find very few of them over here we got a little test server set up to demonstrate this uh, 16 command blocks each of them spawning 10 zombies per second that's 160 zombies per second or almost 10,000 per minute and well yeah <laughs> this is how it looks like <laughs> yeah so that is quite a lot <laughs> and yeah we have a water filter inbuilt here and with a water filter like that when uh, mobs fall through the ones riding on the chickens will of course be filtered out there and yeah um, let's stop it I think that's an insane amount of zombies already spawned in here and yeah you can see after this crazy amount I don't know thousands literally um, we get these few and well if you're really lucky, you might find one, but if you're looking into such small numbers, um, we definitely want to have a way to increase that. And we found a way to double that, and we're going to show you that now. So, after some experiments, we found something out. Check this out, guys. You will be surprised. So, this is a gigantic mob spawner here. This is like a normal mob spawner, but yeah, <laughs> supercharged. So, we have this chicken sitting there close to the spawner and actually we know how close it has to be but first let's see what happens if we turn on the machine now watch the chicken closely boom stop it so <laughs> yep you saw it the baby zombie actually occupied the chicken here this is um, part of the game now and that is a really funny thing because yeah give us some numbers gel Okay, so additionally to this 5% uh, chance of a baby zombie to becoming a chicken jockey on, uh, without any nearby chickens, it also, with another 5% chance, uh, checks the area if there are any chickens within 11 by 11 by 7 blocks around the zombie when it spawns. That means you are doubling the chances of actually getting those chicken jockeys when you have chickens around your mob spawner or somewhere where the uh, mobs do spawn. And this is pretty cool because, well, uh, since it's so rare, uh, we really need to boost those values up to actually get them in survival since you don't have command box spawning that many in such a few time in survival mode. Yeah, and this of course um, opens up other potential. Let's kill this guy. Um, we found out um, some other things that are well more or less funny. For example, if we have a chicken um, hooked up to these fence posts, let's put a few in and lead them up real quick and tie them to the fence posts. So let's run the machine again real quick and you will see even then after a short amount of time well there's one and here we go. <laughs> so yeah this one ran into... did she glitch out? No, okay you can turn it off again. You can see even yeah, when chickens are um, connected with a leash they will spawn on them. So that is pretty interesting as this whole thing is so rare and yeah if you can double the chance um, to get one it's a big improvement 
So yeah, in theory, um, this opens up ways to kind of increase the spawn rates and we made something horrible, <laughs> ugly over there just for the fun. <laughs> to show you a little setup where you could kind Beautiful. of... Beautiful. <laughs> over time, uh, get yourself um, a zombie. And yeah, you could do something like that. Very simple design or a zombie jockey. Um, just have um, yeah, a spawner, put a chicken on top of it and uh, yeah, you should not give it this <laughs> thing to walk off. Put a chicken on top of it and have a tripwire there. And over time, eventually it will happen if you spend some time AFK at the spawner and you definitely increase your chance to get one by doing this. And yeah, if a baby zombie now spawns in on top of the chicken, it will of course um, yeah, trigger the tripwire here and it would push it off and you could catch it. And this would not take away a lot of space um, around your spawner. There would be of course other ways to do that, but this is just the theory. Uh, think about having a mob spawner, you know, uh, not just for zombies, just a regular mob farm. And yeah, you just add your chicken and as JL said, it's a 11 by 11 by 7 box around the block where the zombie spawns. So after experimenting with the things a bit, um, we find out um, that you can actually put a lead on them. And we will show you how you do that and also show you something really cool we figured out with that system. All right, so if you want to lead one of these guys up, you need to aim at their feet and really l aim low. Click a few times. It's not easy to get. You need to practice. Here we go. Got him. And yeah, it actually looks like as if it is connected to the zombie, kind of, as he had the lead around his neck there. But yeah, you have to aim at the feet of the chicken and spam click it a little bit and eventually you will get him. It works the easiest if you come in from below. For example, those here who are swimming in there, um, you can easily grab. But you cannot pull them through water. As you can see, it will yeah, strip the zombie or baby zombie off which is also pretty interesting so after playing around with that stuff um, we developed this thing over there which is a directional player detector and I will fly over here let me get rid of these chickens so you guys are not distracted and uh, when somebody want my chicken Milky put down a fence post for me please <laughs> uh, back there is one yeah, yeah. okay there we go Okay, so JL, um, do us the honors and maybe go to survival mode and go a bit further away and approach our player detector here. Okay. So you guys yeah. can probably already guess the idea behind of it. Um, the chicken is hooked up, um, like I just showed you, with the lead and yeah, we named him of course. His name is player detector, so he cannot despawn. And now let's see what happens if a player approaches that in survival mode. We got JL coming in from back there. Okay. Okay, let's see. It's pretty far away. You can see him approaching. Has a huge radius, and there we go. And yeah, if JL now goes in a circle away around it, the guy will keep on tracking him. And you could actually make a yeah directional player detector, which is really interesting for map making and all kinds of things. You can see um, the thing would also not trigger if JL now goes further away again. You will see um, now the lead overpowers the chicken as soon as JL is out of the radius. And yeah, here we go. And he stays in the middle. He will not um, yeah, trigger the pressure plates now, which is really useful. And yeah, if you look over here, um, this is one um, very simple setup we made you could use that for. You could basically have um, a, yeah, a cannon design. You could control it yourself. You could make it aim for other players. And um, this is just mm -hmm. a very simple prototype. I mean, if you had a clock below, um, you could make that thing rapid fire and yeah, have actually a cannon device that tracks you and use that detection method for all kinds of things. And I think that it's really practical <laughs> aside <laughs> of the fun <laughs> stuff. I mean, seriously, guys, this thing is just the most ugly, ugly. <laughs> thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> 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 a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece indeed. I love the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, by adding something like that or something similar, as I said, just add chicken in an 11 by 11 um, by 6 around the area you w where you spawn zombies. Um, you can increase the chances. Well, it's still a low chance to get it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's already some good uses for it. We showed you this over there, and by doubling the chances by using the trick here we just showed you, I think that's at least something if it's if it's so rare. And I'd say 
that's it for today. Yeah, now it looks better, Milky. You made the tail way better. <laughs> 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 We're out. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.